Alright, well, you've decided that your current recommended section on YouTube is just not up to par. You've tolerated it for months now, feeling shame whenever you open the YouTube homepage. The disgusting, unbearable stench that it emits has discouraged you from using the site entirely. Or you're curious about what advice I have for fixing something that you didn't even know was broken. Well luckily, I've been actively using YouTube for over half a decade now, and I like to think I'm quite pedantic when it comes to the status of my recommended section. Because of this, i developed several habits that I believe are genuinely effective when manipulating the algorithm into showing you what you want to see. So I thought I'd go ahead and make another video about YouTube, going through all these strategies one by one, and helping those who need it. In my last video about YouTube, which I recommend you watch if you haven't already, I mentioned that installing the return dislikes extension, along with the thumbnail rating bar, can be very helpful for finding videos. So that's my first tip, install those extensions. I highly recommend them. On a lot of media websites, I find it's very helpful to zoom out a bit just to see more information. For example, by default you can currently see my recommended videos in rows of 4, but by zooming out 80%, you can instead see rows of 6. Not to mention you can see further down the page as well. This is helpful because you can view more of your options faster, and this will prevent you from scrolling down so much. You can zoom out past 80% if you'd like, but the video rows won't adjust with it. And at this point, it becomes harder to see the thumbnails and titles, so I like to leave it at just 80%, but you know, it's up to you. Okay, so this one's pretty straightforward, but I rarely see anyone use this feature, so I'd like to remind everyone of its existence. Any unwanted clutter you see in your recommended can magically disappear by clicking not interested. YouTube's slightly better than other sites when it comes to not showing you things that you don't want to see, so clicking this button to this day is still pretty effective. <laughs> Subscriptions are one of the bases of what YouTube displays in your recommended section, no matter what, you will always see videos from people you're subscribed to. Are all of your subscriptions the people you actively watch? I personally have notifications on for nearly every YouTuber I'm subscribed to, because most of these people upload pretty infrequently, maybe once a week or once every two months, or maybe they'll never upload again. Point is that I'm pretty strict about who I'm subscribed to, and I think you should be too. I recommend always keeping your list below 100 people, so that you're only subscribed to people whose videos you truly care about. I'm subscribed to so few people, that I'm excited whenever any of them upload. I've discovered recently that YouTube doesn't recommend just based off your subscriptions, but your liked videos as well, so just something to keep in mind. Music videos especially will appear in your recommended section more often if you like them. If you scroll down in your liked videos playlist and see that you've liked videos that you wouldn't want to see in your recommendations today, it might be a good time to unlike some of those videos, or you can just- Maybe you've dug yourself a bit too deep and it's time for a change. It's never a bad idea to start fresh. Just make a new account, log in, and subscribe to only your favorite creators. When you return to the homepage, you'll see what might be a sight more beautiful than a setting sun, more courageous than the view from the tip of a mountain, the most beautiful sight you've ever seen, a YouTube recommendation section filled with only your most valued creators, dozens of videos waiting to be watched or rewatched, the most fantastic scene known to man. Ah, Smeegee, this is fantastic, but how do I keep it this way? Eventually, my recommended section will just evolve into madness once again. Well, just remember to only like videos you want to see more of, only subscribe to creators you find interesting, and mark undesired videos as not interested. And my last tip is that every so often... Whether it was going down a foolish rabbit hole or searching up a channel that you don't particularly like, after about 6 months or however long it takes you to screw up your recommended section, it's always a good idea to delete your history. This will bring it back to the basics, the channels you subscribe to, and the videos that you've liked. Alright, well hopefully some of these suggestions can help you create a recommended section that you're proud of. So thanks for watching till the end of this video. I hope I've made a bit of a dull subject entertaining enough for you. Thanks for listening.